For many of us, following the developments of SpaceX's Starship is a thrill. We cheer when it succeeds, hold our breath during its tests, and celebrate its steps forward. It feels like a peek into what's next in space exploration. But for NASA, the stakes are much higher. They haven't merely observed from the sidelines, they've placed a national bet, banking on this behemoth to take America back to the lunar surface. So it's not just another rocket for NASA. However, recently, with the constant delays, even NASA seems to be getting frustrated. The big question on everyone's mind, is NASA thinking of backing out, taking away our hopes of seeing Starship take to the skies? Let's dive into the details. But first, if you're keen on staying updated on Starship and more, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join our community. SpaceX's involvement began when NASA selected them to construct the agency's new Lunar Lander, a contract valued at an astounding $2.9 billion. This wasn't just a monumental win for SpaceX, but also a pivotal decision by NASA, marking a departure from its earlier approach. Historically, NASA would have split such high-profile contracts between multiple companies to diversify risk and stimulate competitive development. However, this time around, Musk's SpaceX came out on top, and it surprised a lot of folks in the space world. Two big players, Blue Origin and Dynetics, felt left out. They went ahead and complained to the Government Accountability Office, saying NASA changed the rules at the last minute. They believe this move favors SpaceX and could mess up plans to land on the moon by 2024. Yet why did SpaceX emerge as NASA's favored choice? One answer is Starship, SpaceX's fully reusable rocket system. While still under development, its primary aim is to transport both cargo and astronauts to celestial destinations like the moon and Mars. The advanced rocket secured NASA's approval due to its significant cargo capacity and the competitive bid of $2.9 billion, notably lower than the offers from both Blue Origin and Dynetics. NASA's decision to opt for a single company was, in part, influenced by the financial allocations they received. Congress granted only $850 million of the requested $3.3 billion, meant for two lunar landers. While the reduced budget influenced their choice, NASA assured that this was only the initial phase of a broader strategy. However, contrary to NASA's hopes, the Starship project has faced a series of challenges from the start. It's been a journey filled with technical setbacks, bureaucratic hurdles, and unexpected challenges. And let's not forget the literal fiery conclusions that some of these tests have met with. For example, several of the Starship prototypes that were tested at the Boca Chica facilities in Texas experienced various issues. There was the Starship SN1, which suffered a structural failure during a pressure test, causing it to burst. Then came SN3, which also fell victim to a pressure test anomaly leading to a crumpling of its structure. Then there was the much-publicized test flight of the Starship 24 and Booster 7 on April 20th, which garnered attention from all over the world. On that fateful day, SpaceX's Starship rocket, touted as the most potent ever built, took to the skies from a launch pad in South Texas. While it didn't achieve orbit, the event was seen as a crucial learning curve for SpaceX. The engines of the Super Heavy booster roared to life, resulting in a colossal display of fire, smoke and dust, with the Starship steadily ascending. About a minute into the flight, the rocket encountered maximum aerodynamic pressure, a make-or-break phase in any rocket launch. However, shortly after navigating through this challenging phase, the Starship began to tumble and, to the shock of viewers worldwide, met its end in a dramatic explosion high above the Gulf of Mexico. This incident further strained the already complex relationship between SpaceX and the FAA. And it's crazy when you realize SpaceX had to wait two long years just to get the green light for this first launch. Ironically, space enthusiasts like us began to find excitement in tracking the progress of launch licenses, almost as much as the rocket launch itself. SpaceX now finds themselves in another waiting game, this time for the license for their second launch. With all the delays and challenges, NASA's stakes in the Starship project are high, given they are the primary investor. And indeed, they've started voicing concerns about whether SpaceX's Starship Lunar Lander can meet the timeline set for the landmark Artemis III mission to the moon in 2025. There are several reasons for this concern. First and foremost, the sheer number of launches Starship needs to successfully complete before the Artemis III mission is significant. 
This isn't just about sending a craft to the moon. It involves a series of intricate steps. Apart from launching the primary lunar lander, SpaceX must also launch multiple tanker starships to rendezvous and refuel the lander while in Earth's orbit. But even before these complex maneuvers can take place, SpaceX faces other milestones. They must first prove their capability with an uncrewed lunar landing. On top of that, they need to demonstrate the challenging feat of cryogenic fluid transfer in Earth's orbit, a critical component for ensuring the lunar mission's success. Each of these steps presents its own set of challenges and potential delays, but the concerns don't stop there. Recent events have added more wrinkles to the already complex fabric of this mission. The Starship Super Heavy launch vehicle, hailed as a revolutionary step forward in space travel, faced setbacks during its maiden flight. Instead of a triumphant ascent, the launch was marred by engine failures, leading to the grounding of the vehicle. The ramifications of this setback are still unfolding, with a comprehensive investigation now in progress. This investigation involves a collaborative effort between NASA experts and the FAA, emphasizing the gravity of the situation. Furthermore, the next launch license, crucial for SpaceX to proceed with its ambitious testing schedule, is still up in the air. Delays in obtaining this license could potentially cascade into further postponements for subsequent missions. All these factors combined make the originally projected 2025 date for the Artemis III mission seem more and more optimistic, bordering on unlikely. As anticipation grows, all eyes are on SpaceX to navigate these challenges and deliver on the promise of returning humans to the moon. However, hope is not lost. Jim Free, NASA's Associate Administrator for Exploration Systems Development, remains optimistic about SpaceX's capabilities. While he acknowledges the potential delays, he maintains confidence in SpaceX's eventual delivery of the Starship Lunar Lander. Yet the clock is ticking, and delays could prove costly. Even though NASA's current contract insulates them from potential cost overruns, a delayed or failed mission could jeopardize the broader goals of the Artemis program. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.